Returnal. A genre-bending action roguelite with some great storytelling. Like all roguelites, your deaths return you to the start of the game, and each run is procedurally generated with random buffs and debuffs that can shake things up along the way. This is the story of the god run I had on my fourth life, where I beat the game. So my first run started off how I assume most do. I was appreciating the graphics. I fought my first enemies, found my first audio log, and generally got to know the game. Why am I horny? And after I found some orb thing that I shot up for a bit, I ran into my first challenge. Encounter hostile fighter. And immediately died, ending my first run. I was brought back to life and had to start all over again. I've already experienced this before. Enter. Uh oh. Pretty quickly on my second run, I found a house in the jungle and had my first run in with the astronaut. Oh, astronaut. Astronaut figurine. Personal item. Doesn't want to let you go. I barely knew what artifacts were at this stage and had no idea what this one did. But I continued through the area and eventually made it to a vault door, which hit a giant hole behind it that I immediately jumped down without thinking. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's a boss. No 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 Fuck I'd accidentally initiated the first boss fight really see where the purple things are. Oh! Shit, he has three health masks, doesn't he? At first it wasn't going that bad, but then once I hit the second phase and his moveset switched up, things got a little dicey. What? He dodged that? And I actually died. I don't understand why I have another chance. But that astronaut figurine that I picked up earlier gave me a second chance. No. Oh, it's coming back. I need to kill him. I got him. Oh, I got him first try. Look at my health. Look at my health. Look at my health. Look at, my health. Look at her. Look at her. And somehow clutched it. I was rewarded with a key that opened a gateway to the next biome, so I went through. Unfortunately, I wasn't really able to recover my health, and I struggled through the next biome. Fucking die, please. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Until it got the better of me. Fuck, 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 fuck. shit. The next day I started a new run, and it went pretty shaky from the get-go. Until I ran into that enemy that ended my first run, and then things went even worse. No, oh, I'm gonna die instantly this, this fucking run. I'd somehow survived the room, but I had really low health. And then when I left... I did not see that What? Oh my... Oh, fuck me dead! And so I started my fourth run. This knew I would be coming back. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. 
Pretty soon into this next run, I found a parasite that would shape the whole strategy. Increase protection, increases malfunction probability. This could be like a no risk run where you just don't risk malfunctions. Fuck it. The run started off great and I was getting really good luck with artifacts and weapons. Hmm. And got another great parasite that would help with better weapons later on. Why not? I found the house again and ran into the astronaut. Not intimidating at all. And got a pretty helpful artifact. There's a sound when near secret location. And then explored the rest of the biome before going through the gateway. Excuse me, can I hear that again? Tentacles and moaning? Oh no, I tripped. So after exploring, I finally went through the gateway and into the next biome. Having cleared this one of all the loot. I continued through the next area, having similarly good luck with artifacts and fights, until I finally found the thing that would make this run. Serrated projectiles. That sounds like a bleed. Was additional damage over time. So I'm pretty sure serrated projectiles is the bleed one. This gun with serrated projectiles is ridiculously good. The serrated is nuts. And I made short work of the same room that ended my last good run. The serrated is nuts. What the shit? And once I realized I could shoot through walls with phasing rounds, things got a lot easier. I can just shoot through this corner. Look at this. Hit a dick, idiot. Same with this idiot. Oh, never mind. No, I'm back. Fuck off, idiot. Nah, 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 It was time for the second boss. Let's do this. I was hoping with my new crazy gun that this wouldn't be too hard. It was immediately apparent that this weapon was doing the job. But like the last boss, the subsequent phases threw in some curveballs. And the third phase got hectic. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. But with the help of my weapon, I made it through relatively unscathed. Holy that shit! Something. And my reward was an insanely good artifact. Resin gives you shield. And a new permanent upgrade. Found more xenotype technology on another corpse. We'll perform a function test. Yes, let's please perform a function test. <laughs> so with the help of the grappling hook, I was able to explore the whole biome. And the no malfunction risk run 
meant that I'd collected so many artifacts and still hadn't had a single malfunction. And ended up maxing out my artifact slots. And some of the artifacts were really helpful. So with the grappling hook acquired and this area cleared, I moved into a new biome. Lots of dead boys. After a little exploring, I found a new parasite to add to my collection. Repairs integrity inhibits the use of silphium resources. Ooh. I think just being able to heal on, on kill is going to be really good. I have a third child, chat. Look. Oh, he's so cute on my leg. I continued to explore the biome and run into some pretty crazy enemies. Oh, I can shoot through the pillar. I'm an idiot. But it was nothing with this crazy weapon in my hands. There. ya. Yeah, don't. Come here, fourth child. I added another parasite to myself. The one on my back is Barry. The one on my arm is Larry. The one on my leg is Harry. <laughs> and the one on my arm is Tybalt. I cleared the rest of the area, mostly thanks to my artifacts that continuously healed me and my gun that I could shoot through walls without even exposing myself. Hey, buddy. What if she dies when she's back home? If she gets off the planet, they rescue her, she gets home, back on Earth, and then she dies. And then I made it to the third boss. And this is one of the most epic boss fights I've ever done. Thanks to my auto healing artifacts, I had huge max health and I had four healing items plus a resin shield. So I was pretty confident I could do this. first phase went pretty smoothly, but I'd lost my resin shield, and the second phase was a little tougher. Uh -huh. But the third phase... What? ...is where it really got hectic. What? What? used all of my heals, but managed to do it. I first tried every boss. Finally, I'll have an answer to White Shadow. This has to be the actual end, right?
Evac confirmed. I've got four parasite. Where's my parasite children? No. She's back! She's back! <laughs> oh my God, so after defeating those bosses, I was returned to the start of the game with none of my parasites, weapons, or artifacts. But things were a little different. My journey wasn't over yet. I'd have to keep going. Thanks for watching. This is the first half of my returnal run where I reached the end, but things didn't go so well for me from here on out. Part two will be coming soon. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember this was all recorded live on Twitch, so come through and let me know what you think of the video or the game. See you in the next one.